It's time to recap the last three days of Counter-Strike action here in ECS. And starting with Europe, it was a very good week for Australis, who are still undefeated and now 12-0 and zero with victories over Envious and uh, Ninjas in Pajamas. Yeah, their form is looking really, really dominating. It's, it's kind of cool to see because we're so used to Australis having problems. And it's actually kind of rare that I feel like a team can get on back on track as quickly as they have. But they look very exciting to watch at the moment. They're uh, showing us a lot of new stuff and they could actually be undefeated. There is, there, that dream is still alive. I don't know if we've ever had that in Europe, but... I don't think we have, but uh, I didn't mention they also beat uh, Godsense this week as well. It hasn't been a good week for Godsense. They also lost some matches to Ninjas in Pajamas, who went two for four this week with losses against Astralis and Fnatic. So some difficult maps where they did play well, but they just couldn't get the Ws. Yeah, you mean NYP? Yeah. Yes, yeah, it's, it's been... Uh, it's been unfortunate for them just having an online season be so rough so far, but then they've had a lot of hard games out of the gate. But then at, at the same time, you, it felt like they could have won pretty much any map. There was always a chance and they're playing pretty well. So I hope that they don't feel demoralized. I think NRP can still salvage uh, the season. Yeah, actually, they, they did drop a map to Envious as well. And it is the usual roller coaster with Envy where they are not winning a lot of their matches. And there's an emotional spillage on Twitter. Scream expressed some frustration and said that it's been a while since Counter-Strike was fun, which is sad. Yeah, I saw a, a statistic that they've, I think, like won less than like five matches this year so far. So something like that, and it wouldn't surprise me too much. They've had a lot of changes. They're, they're a team that's undergone so much turmoil. So, I mean, you've got to feel for them. It's got to be so difficult, especially, you know, you're putting your entire life force into this one endeavor and you can't quite find success. It's definitely going to be an interesting storyline to follow. I think, I think honestly, I believe with the lineup they have, Kyushima's showing some great stuff. We're seeing really cool stuff from Hachi, very skilled player, that there is light at the end of the tunnel. But we, how long is the tunnel? Yeah, that's a good <laughs> question. Might be longer than a Euro start. Moving over to North America, again, NRG continue to have their success. They are, I think they're still currently undefeated, undefeated aren't they? Yeah, yeah there was a, they actually had a very close call against E United. Uh, just yesterday, which was a really fun matchup. E United, a team of just like, I mean, most people would not have heard of any of those players yet. They're actually performing really well individually and strategically. They actually look like a team of people. Yeah, a unit. A lot of fresh blood there as well, uh, except, you know, so someone like Relics, who we, we know. But he looks like a completely different player from a year ago. Very, very much improved. Yeah, he seems to fit into that team pretty well. SK weren't able to play their matches versus Renegades due to the uh, roster issues they have been having. Um, I think Complexity took a map off of Renegades and you're wondering, it's nice to see Complexity back into the league, but they may end up being the punching bag of the, uh, of the season. It's an interesting one. I mean, they have finesse on the team, so they have sort of filled the in-game leader role uh, pretty, pretty well. I think he's, he's definitely a season in the game leader. He knows what he's doing. Um, he's got a lot of uh, experience and practice doing that. So I'm really curious to see like what he can do to transform the team because I think it will reflect massively on his career because I feel like if Finesse doesn't have some level of success with this team, then he's sort of going to fade into obscurity. And I don't, I think he deserves more than that. So I'm, I'm uh, looking forward to keeping close on complexity to see how the team develops. Mixed results for Luminosity as well, who are a team who we, we have watched develop over a long period of time. Um, so we'll see, it's still early days in the league overall. So very curious to see where in the table they will end up if it will be the top half or the bottom half. Any opinions there? Yeah, they're also an interesting one because it feels like they have sort of fixed a lot of the issues. We, you know, they used to be too slow. They used to have issues with people taking initiative, having like the entry frag, the explosiveness. They kind of fixed those, but I feel like they've also found a pretty high level of inconsistency. Sometimes they have really good results, sometimes it's really bad. It's hard to know which way they're going to uh, be on, the, on the, you know, each respective day. But uh, they did have a, a game against Optic. And Optic are a team I didn't really know what, what to think. It's like a bunch of Danes. And then it's Shazam. Yeah. And then, and then wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And actually, Sandstorm's doing a great job. The team's looking kind of good. Yeah, early days for that new roster, but uh, we look forward to watching them develop as this season goes on. That's it for this week's recap. We will be back soon with more Counter Strike, so stay tuned and stay subscribed.